Today is May 11th, 2016. This is Inference. The video is going to play at one and a half times speed, and I'm going to freeze it at about nine different places. I take these nine stills, uh, add some filters, and do my analysis on them right after this uh, approximately two minute clip. You can go ahead and skip to about two minutes if you want to uh, check out the analysis first. But the reason I do this is because I, I want to try to not bias you in favor of seeing what I'm seeing. I want you to take a look at it for the first time without having th anything in your mind and then to take a look at what I see and compare it to your impressions of the same video. You may recognize some of this footage. It's a close-up of some of the footage I used in my camouflage clouds um, hypothesis or theory video. And it's the part of the, the video that I shot that gave me the inference that there was something there when I saw the way the clouds moved and in particular seeing some similar patterns over a couple of minutes reappear that made me want to look further into the whole thing. I'm well aware of how nutty it all seems to even want to look for this stuff, but uh, it just happened to appear to me and I think it's kind of foolish to ignore the things that are directly observable, even if they conflict with what you think you know. This last year of making videos has certainly taught me many lessons in that regard. For geometric patterns to appear in the sky is nothing too significant, but to see them reappear over and over, or to see parallel lines across vast distances of sky, should raise some kind of alert to whoever's seeing it. That sort of thing is not that likely to occur in nature on its own. And here come the stills, and I'll show you where I started seeing it. The first thing that tipped me off was this really sharp line in the clouds, this angle. That was the first clue. And as I started playing with the color filters and messed with the brightness of it and the contrast, I was able to see the same shape reappear at multiple points with fairly good accuracy too. I started to see other fairly discernible lines especially when I messed with the brightness of it. And I noticed that several of them were parallel as well. Not only that, but there were connections between the vertices of some of these angles, and that was just too coincidental to ignore. Some things you have to take a look at over the course of time instead of space. And this picture is a good example because later on you'll see the same yellow parallel path that I draw out clearer, much clearer. But my question is why does it even have the tendency to have that same parallel line? There's no reason it should be emphasized there. It would make more sense for instance if um, it followed the outline of the circle of the Sun and responded to the radiance of the Sun. Like in this picture, you can see it almost looks as if there's a ledge on the far side of the, uh, the parallel line. And you can see how the light rays pour out in a sheet away from it, which gives some kind of indication that there is a solid obstruction and it's not just peering through clouds. And here you have that picture, the follow-up one that I talked about earlier where you see the cloud having resolved along a parallel line to the one that was closer to us. Not only that, but you can see in the back there, there's a hint of a similar shape or structure that follows the same perspective using the same lines. I'm going to zip through the next set here. It presents largely the same thing that I've covered in the other ones. If you'd like, you can pause it and take a look at a more leisure rate. And this one's a little more unique because I've zoomed out and you're still able to see the structures. I've spotted a couple more to the left, which I've, there you go, there's the outline for them. 
they're all in keeping with perspective and again I see no real reason for them to be there except if there's something in the sky as we've discussed I'm gonna breeze through set 9 because I have one special photograph to share with you and that's from a subscriber and there's a feature in this particular photograph that I think resolves any doubt take a look at this one I'm gonna zoom in on the upper left and you'll see what appear to be like castle turrets or a mechanical gear it's a series of right angles that just does not occur in water vapor naturally so something is going on up there I'm going to play the same clip that I did earlier at double speed. I'm going to use the dual tone for filter. And it, it's zoomed out for the whole thing, so you'll be able to get a little better perspective on, on the whole frame. So uh, I'll say my goodbye now. You can watch the rest of this or not. Hope you have a good one. Have peace in your lives. Love in your heart. Be good to each other.